Good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning. How y'all doing? How you doing? How you doing? It's a great morning. What about you? What do you what you think? What you say? What you say? It's a great morning out here. It's a little foggy, but it's still a great morning. Why? Because God allowed me to wake up. He allowed me to make the wake up list. I don't know about you, but I'm just telling him thank you. Thank you for allowing me to make the wake up list. You know what? Because he didn't have to do it. God didn't have to wake you up this morning. God didn't have to uh, dispatch the angels that's assigned to you to cover you so that old deaf angel could, could, could go on about his business. He didn't have to do it. So I'm just excited, excited, excited about life, excited this morning. And I, I, I'm here to tell you, yesterday, um, I'm not going to say it wasn't a good day, but but my spirit was heavy. I still don't have a clue why. My spirit was heavy. And I'm, I'm just glad that God let me sleep peacefully. He let me have some peace. I didn't toss and turn. As a matter of fact, I went to sleep listening to TDJs. He came from St. John, the second chapter, and the title, if I'm not mistaken, was Time to Pour, Time to Pour. So I'm pouring into y'all this morning. I'm pouring into y'all. I'm going to let you know what thus said the Lord. God, <laughs> God said that you are wonderfully made. If you don't know it, look in the mirror and say, Lord, show me me. Show me who you see. And he'll do it. God, let me be who you're calling me to be. And he's going to do it. See, you have to you have to walk into your calling. Walk into your destiny with your head held high. It's no need for you to hold your head down. Why? Why? Because somebody said something that, that didn't feel good. Somebody said something you know wasn't true. If you know it's not true, just hold your head up and keep a walking, keep a walking. Ask God to give you what you need every day to make it. Every day. Because every day is a new day. Every, every It might be different, different circumstances every day. You might have different trials every day. But as long as you stay focused on God, whatever you're going through is not going to take you out. Some of us are still walking into who we are, the, the, the true potential of who God is calling us to be. And that can, that can be kind of frightening sometimes because I say all the time, this is a tedious journey. It's, it's no easy, easy way to say I'm walking the journey and I don't have any problems. If you tell somebody that and you're walking the same journey I am to live right, to trust God in every aspect of your life. If you tell somebody that, that it's a, it's a cakewalk, you didn't just lie to somebody because it's not a cakewalk. It's not a cakewalk. They're, they're, I, I, I can only tell you about me. I can wake up just as, just as chipper, just as happy, and all of a sudden, the whole my whole demeanor has changed. That's because folk would 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 try to tell you how you supposed to feel people will tell you that your calling is not your calling and i'm at this point right now i don't care if you believe me or not if you believe in me i know that my relationship is real i know that i have grown in my ministry i know i have grown in god so i'm at the point i don't worry about what folks say because it's not what they call me it's what i answer to i answer to the the child of the most high i am royalty because my daddy is see my daddy god is my daddy jesus is my brother i have power why why somebody say gee why you say that because jesus rose with all power he didn't just rise with some he rose with all power in his hands so the same power that jesus rose with that's the same power that's in me and y'all guess what i'm learning how to activate and use my power i didn't say misuse it i'm learning how to use it use it for good use it to help somebody use it to benefit somebody else because my my calling my ministry my dream my vision it's not about me it, and yours is not about you we all have people attached to our lives we're supposed to be blessing people and not cursing them 
we're supposed to be building people up and not tearing people down. So why is it? <laughs> why is it so many of us are so focused on tearing each other down? Because they don't do something like you do. They don't speak like you do. They don't talk, they they don't talk, preach, teach, pray like you do. That we're not supposed to be the same. Because we're different. God made us different. There's something unique about each and every one of us. Walk in your uniqueness today. Walk in your uniqueness today. I don't want to be like anybody else. God gave me what he gave me for, so I can bless somebody. It's, it's for me. It's mine, what he gave me. The anointing on my life, that's the anointing he has on my life. The gifts and the talents he's given me, that's what he's given me. I'm not here trying to please or operate like somebody else. Because I'm not a, a, a mannequin. I'm not a, a, a dummy that you going to pull a string. I follow God. I'm following God's lead. So tr trust and believe. When you begin to follow God's lead, you begin to really know who you are. You got yourself something. You got yourself something. So, it's a happy day. Oh, happy day. <clears throat> Can't see it right now. Okay, anyway. Y'all be blessed. I'm about to go around this curve right here. Want to make sure I'm paying attention to what I'm doing. Y'all be blessed. Love you, love you, love you. Y'all just y'all just walk into your own uniqueness. Be unique today. God didn't make me to fit in. He made me, he made me to stand out. So, I'm going to stand out. And you know a lot of people don't like my standing out. But I'm going to stand out anyway. I'm going to stand out anyway. And you know, I know the folks that don't like it. I know the folks that don't like me. And they don't know I know. But I know. I know. I ask God for discernment every day. Increase the amount of discernment I have, God. So I won't fall prey to the, to the tricks of the enemy. Because his tactics, his tactics have not changed. Nothing about what he does has changed. Woo. Okay, hold on, y'all. Nothing about what he does has changed. See, y'all finna make me miss my turn. Okay, let's do this like this. Okay, I'm sorry, y'all. See, they thought they was gonna hit me, but I can't drive a little bit. I can't drive a little bit. Uh, but anyway, nothing about the devil's tactics have changed. He, he he might change change people he use. He might change things he use. But I came to tell you to stay focused on God. Stay focused on God. And God won't lead you wrong. Stay focused on him. Stay focused on him. Y'all don't know I'm just so excited about what God is doing in this season. I'm just so excited about what he's already done what he's doing right now oh my what he's gonna do have you ever just had a leap in your spirit of, and you and god then had a talk and your spirit just gets to leaping your spirit just gets excited that's how i feel this morning that's how i feel this morning i'm just excited i'm just excited <laughs> i'm just excited i decree and declare that your day will be great i decree and declare no weapon formed against you shall prosper i decree and declare no weapon formed against me shall prosper and every tongue that rises against me god will condemn every <clears throat> tongue that rises against you god will condemn you have we have to learn to trust god trust god with every fiber in our being see uh we a lot of us have 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 allowed fear to paralyze us but let me tell you when you learn to ask god to give you what you need to to increase your faith your faith your faith will will shoot will shoot so high that you don't even know how to spell fear anymore you just get out there god say go and you say okay that's why i am y'all that's why i am he say go i say okay that's all i know to do that's all I know to do because I trust him with every fiber in my being. I trust God. Am I saying every day Sunday? No, every day Sunday ain't in my, in, in, in my house. It's not every day Sunday at your house either. We all going to go through. As long, <coughs> excuse me. As long as we on this side, we going to go through some things. But it's not the going through. It's not the going through. 
It's our response to the going through. What is your posture of your going through? What is your response to your going through? Have you ducked ta- duck your tail and hid? Are you standing toe to toe and said, I can do all things. You're right. I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. God got me. My daddy won't let nothing and nobody harm me. My daddy. My daddy. See, it's personal. You got to make that thing personal for you because it's personal for me. God ain't going to let nothing and nobody come up on me and harm me, uh, uh, trick me like that because I have an ear to hear him. I have an ear to hear God. I hear God, what he's saying. I hear him saying, daughter, don't go that way. I need you to go this way. And you know, I might uh, I might say, God, I don't understand why you want me to do that. But guess what? I'm going to do it anyway. I'm going to do it anyway. I'm going to do it anyway. Because God is not going to stir me wrong. God is not going to lead me wrong. So why wouldn't I trust? Why wouldn't I trust what he tells me to do? Because I know he's not going to lead me wrong. So why wouldn't I trust what he tells me to do? See, because that's all I know to do is trust God. All I know to do is trust God. Things may not be going all the way right. The things that I think should be going right. Folks ain't treating me right, but guess what? I trust God. God allows things to happen. God allows things to happen so you can open your eyes a little bit wider. God allows things to happen so you can open your eyes a little bit wider. So you can see what he's trying to show you. God is trying to show each and every one of us something through this pandemic Open your eyes and stop being, stop closing your eyes when you see something that's there in your face. It's there in your face. He was like, no, that wasn't it. God just showed it to you. You better listen. You better listen. You better look at it. Look at it for what it is. <laughs> I think it was, first I think it was, uh, Lord, as well as I know her name. Uh, mm, well, anyway, pa- Tyler Perry said it said it second she said it first uh she, it, her, her name is on the tip of my tongue uh but it, it won't come out but tyler perry said in one of his plays and he was mimicking her when people show you who they are believe them believe them so when people places or things show you who they are believe them don't act, don't discount it, act like it ain't so. Believe what they're showing you. Because they're this, 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 and this. Believe what they're showing you. <laughs> Woo! It's right there. God is showing you something, and you just said, oh, that ain't what I saw. Yes, it is. He wants you to have discernment like no other. God wants you to understand what is happening around you. Some of us are so close-minded, so uh, so I uh, so blind to the fact of what is really going on around you. This pandemic has happened so you can get it together. Whether it's your discernment, your faith, your lack of fear, get your life together. That's what he wants. He wants us to get it together. Stop being blind to the fact of what is plainly let me take these off because i need a little help plainly in your face it's plainly in your face it's in your face and you act like it's not there you want to say no that's not what i saw god showed it to you for a purpose god showed it to you for a purpose Stop acting like everybody your friend and they stabbing you in your back. Stop acting like you can tell everybody about your dream and they trying to snatch it from you. Stop opening your mouth when God tells you something. He blesses you. He tells you an assignment to do and you so excited. That's okay. You can't be excited. But ask God, who am I supposed to tell? Can I tell somebody, God? Can I tell somebody? Sometimes he just want us to close our mouth. Because they're splitting your face. That will mess up every blessing God has for you. The split that lies in your face. Your mouth. Because we talk too much. 
We talk too much. Yes, I did say we. We talk too much. We so excited about what God is doing for us. You don't know the person that's, that you're talking to, they are praying on you, P-R-E-Y. They're not praying, P-R-A-Y-I-N-G, for you. They are praying on you. Because they want you to dis get discouraged. They want you to throw in the towel. They want you to forget the assignment God has given you. <laughs> I'm just trying to help somebody this morning because I'm about to go into work. I'm just trying to help you, help you this morning. Because God is good all the time. God, all the time God is good. Y'all know it. If you know God has been good to you throughout your life, however, whatever chapter you own, I, put some hearts down here. Put some likes down here. Only if you know. If I could put some hearts, I would. Because God has saved my life more than once. He's pulled me out the miry clay more than once. Set me on a solid ground. He turned me around. So I can come come back to him. He said, your destiny up here, G. Why are you back there? I need you to walk to me. So that's what God is telling you. Stop looking behind you. It's nothing behind you but heartache, pain, rejection. That's what's behind you. What's in front of you is the life that you desire. The life you deserve. Your destiny is in front of you. So stop looking behind you. Y'all be blessed. Y'all be blessed. I'm excited. Can y'all tell? I'm excited about life this morning. I'm excited about where God is doing in me. What he's doing in me. Because <laughs> when I say my spirit was heavy on yesterday, it was heavy. I had to learn. I have to learn always to give it to God. Give it to God. And I'm telling you, whatever it is, give it to God. I feel like a whole new person if you really want to know the truth. I feel like a whole new person. My mindset, my thoughts, my, my soul, my body. I feel like a whole new person. I wish that for you. I wish that for you. I'm going to pray and I have to get off of here. <clears throat> Father God, thank you for allowing us to come before your presence one more time, God. God, thank you for open, opening our eyes for things that you're showing us, God. Thank you for discernment about things and places, people around us, God. God, we love you right now. God, thank you for waking us up this morning, God. You allow three things in our life on today. There's grace and mercy because they're going to follow us the, for the rest of our life. And there's an opportunity. You've given us opportunity to tell somebody about you, God, to live our life right, God, so it will be pleasing unto you. God, change our mindset to thinking people have to validate us. The only validation that we need comes from you. God, if you give us a yes, the no's are, are negative. They mean nothing. God, you have given us a yes. Those that you've given assignments to, you've given us a yes. And we want to thank you right now, God. Thank you for your yes. Thank you for the discernment. Thank you for a changed mindset. God, we bless you right now. We adore you right now, God. We will bless the Lord at all times and praise shall continually be in our mouth. Oh, taste and see that the Lord is good. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord, for what you're doing in this season. Thank you for what you're doing for your children, God. Open their minds, God. Show them what they need to see, God. And let them have the open mind to understand and know that you are showing them something for their, for their good, for their better, God. God, we love you right now. We adore you right now, God. Bless us as we go about our day, God. Help us learn how to command our day, command our morning, command our hour, command our life. So we will line up with you, God. In the name of Jesus, we honor you, God. We give you glory and we give you praise. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen, amen, and amen. Y'all be blessed, be blessed, and highly favored. And we're going to see you later. Love y'all.